Darwin's doubt. I look at two different aspects of the, the mystery associated with the Cambrian explosion. The first is the obvious mystery of the missing ancestral fossils. The Cambrian animals come suddenly into the fossil record and in the strata beneath them. We don't find anything remotely like most of these Cambrian animals that would provide a clear set of ancestral precursors or transitional intermediates as Darwin's theory would expect. But the book also addresses a second mystery associated with the Cambrian explosion, and that, that mystery is essentially an engineering problem. How would the evolutionary process build something as functionally complex as a complex arthropod or a, a chordate um, with the, its uh, many complex organs and tissues all working in close coordination? And, and that mystery has been made very much more acute by the discoveries of the last half of the 20th century in the field of molecular biology. Because since the 1950s, with the discoveries by Watson and Crick, we know that building an animal requires a lot of new genetic information. New animals uh, have many dozens of cell types. Each cell type requires dedicated proteins to service those cell types. A gut cell, for example, needs uh, specific digestive enzymes. Enzymes are types of proteins, and we know that proteins are built from the digital information stored in the DNA molecule. So if you have a new animal form, you need new cell types, new proteins, and therefore a lot of new genetic information.